Alright guys, today's design is this massive whitetail. It is a 16 point typical taken this past year down in Oklahoma by a guy named Gunnar Womack. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more of a voiceover on this design, same as I did on the last video, just give you an idea of what I'm doing as I do it. So let's jump into it. One of the issues that can arise when you're doing these designs is people will hold the beams or hold the points and cover them up with their hands. Uh, it's usually not too big of a deal. You can sort of imagine where the beam is through their hands by looking at where it goes into their hand and where it exits and drawing a line in between. Um, this one wasn't too bad. Another thing I should mention, this photo has pretty good resolution, but you'll still notice that the, the lines around the tines can be a little bit fuzzy. And so you just wanna sort of pick that line that goes in between the darkness and the point, not leave too much of the darkness on the inside of the design and uh, not let the, the white of the tines go to the outside of the design. Just draw your line right through the middle of the haze and. and uh, if you're zoomed in, um, that should work pretty well most of the time. I've mentioned it before, but you always, always want to design and trace the frontmost beam and points before you work on the ones behind him. Um, it should be pretty obvious as I'm doing this one why. Uh, you can just sort of draw the connecting lines, uh, the points behind the front of the design, and as you get close to each of the points, you can keep these lines parallel like I do right at the base of each of these points, uh, which makes detailing your design um, later on once I put the back black background on it, it makes it a lot easier to, um, to clean up your design and cuts a lot of time out of the, uh, the whole process. All right, so I've already got a skull ready for this one. I'm gonna get in, clean it up a little bit. Like I was saying earlier, when you're doing your initial trace of the antlers, if you can keep your lines as parallel and close to each other as possible, um, it makes this part of the design when you're just trying to make everything, bring in the last little bits of detail, go so much faster. All right, and that's the final design. If you enjoyed this and want to see me do some others, I've recently done a couple of other trophy whitetails, a uh, moose, a caribou. Just check out some of the videos on my channel. I will link a couple here. And then leave a comment down below if there are some other trophies that you'd like to see me design, some other unique animals. Doesn't even have to be a deer. Um, I enjoy doing any sort of trophy. So leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Thanks.